So how do you think we're gonna do stretching this out? I don't think we rolled it big enough. <laughs> you, you, got, no! you just gotta get into it. There it's you like go. doing a duvet cover. <laughs> Texas, the Lone Star State, and the biggest in the contiguous US. We are Sorted Food, and the four of us are on a trip from the UK to find out if everything really is bigger in Texas. So oh this is it. Oh my God! So we're traveling to the state's biggest cities to explore the things that made the food scene in Texas massive. To help us scratch the surface, our production team, along with the help of Texan locals, have lined up a number of challenges to help us immerse ourselves in this truly epic state. We are in San Antonio. It's 9.30 a.m. We've just had a Guinness. <laughs> we haven't. And I... Are you... Are you sending us texts? Is this how this is working? Uh, this is ominous. Welcome to Texas, the state where size really does matter. In order to truly understand the big Texas experience, you will be taking on a number of food challenges across the series in teams. Team one is Ben and Mike. We've already got this. Team yes, two babe. is Barry and Jamie. Yeah! yeah. Why would you? It's fine. His size fine. matters. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Okay. Wow. Great. I'm really worried that we've given you so much power. <laughs> As the US's seventh biggest city and the most visited in Texas, San Antonio has a lot to offer. From the picturesque 15 mile long river walk to the home of the oldest cathedral in the state of Texas, the San Fernando Cathedral. At just 150 miles from the Mexican border at Laredo, the city has a strong Hispanic influence. Just over 64% of the population identify as Hispanic, with Mexican being the largest within that group. The production team have sent us a solitary pin drop. Now it's just a short walk from here. Please collect your transport from here. What, what are we getting? I Car? Don't, I don't know. Bike? Scooter? <laughs> what the hell are these? You're a kid, no. Don't want a roof, do we? Jamie, they haven't got doors. Why bother with a roof? That one? Oh, well, yeah, I like that one. I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, two iced Americanos. Uh, grande. I like this, it feels very joyful and colourful. Oh. Another message, challenge one. San Antonio is a bustling city known for its deep history and Mexican influence. Find as many of the food items on this list and learn all you can about them. It's, a, it's an eating challenge. It's a lovely long list and I've only heard of half of them. As well as enjoying the delicious food on offer, we had to ensure we learned and remembered as much as we could about the dishes, as we'd be challenged on this later in the trip. So we've been brought to Mitiera, uh, and we're trying chiquiles, one of the items on our list. Yeah, so a Mexican dish, very kind of breakfasty, because we've got it with over easy eggs. It's corn tortillas laid with fresh salsa, queso, and then refried beans. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, this is going to be a good few days. For me, it's the pickled smoky salsa and the fresh queso with egg. A winner. We've absolutely spanked it on the first go, Eppers. It's so warm and soft and perfect. Tasty breakfast. What's next? I went to town on those tortillas. I think I'm in trouble. Face <laughs> yourself. This is teamwork. <laughs> Hot sweaty drive. First stop, getting some food. We've come to the bottling department. It's an amazing food hall. We're coming to Chiraquil inside. We're gonna get a quesadilla. A cheesy little thing. A cheesy little thing. <laughs> now quesadillas are nothing new. In fact, 
first recipe we ever made on yep, the YouTube first channel. first ever one. But I don't think I've had like, a oh. traditional Mexican <laughs> style quesadilla. These have cactus or cacti. As little cheesy things go. Ooh. That is a pretty decent little cheesy thing. That's great. Mm. That's actually much, that is genuinely one of the best tastes I've had. Oh, no. That doesn't sustain me say too much. It's exercise menu. <laughs> <laughs> Another item on the list, manganatas. Ever had one of these? No, although I think normally it's with actual mango pieces and then the sauce and spice. This is with mango puree as a drink. Looks lush. It's got chamoy sauce, which we only recently, well, I only recently learned about, which is basically like an apricot hot sauce. It's delicious and smoky and awesome. Yeah, brain freeze. Oh! Woo the chili rim. It does need that spicy rim. That makes your lips tingle. That is so refreshing. In San Antonio, the taco is royalty. So we've gone for some street tacos. They're slightly smaller, and we've gone for El Pastor. They're kind of ironic, because we're not on the street, we're on a river. This is the oldest restaurant on the river walk. That's good. The pork is nice and fatty, but every salsa is high on acid. Lots of lime juice. That juice is so punchy. Get a load of this. Mocajete. Never seen this before in my life. It's La Gloria's speciality. We've got skirt steak, a pasilla sauce, which is tomatillos and chilies. It's cooked in this, in, held in an oven, 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, oh. As soon as you unravel the tortillas, that smell you don't get in the UK. Oh, wow. I know. Really fragrant. That sauce is so deep and rich. Yeah. Dip it in a bit of spice and you're done. Oh, freshen it up, freshen it up. What a choice. What a choice. What a speciality. In terms of Mexican influence in the US, yeah. this feels the strongest that we've experienced. Yeah. A long Definitely. while. At 62 inches, that's 157 centimetres in diameter, Big Lou's Pizza has long been famous for making the largest pizza in Texas, feeding over 30 people. It's now time for Jamie and Mike to take on today's big challenge. Guys, welcome to Big Lou's. First off, welcome to Texas. We started in 2000. 23 years later, we're still here, thank God. Amazing. We made ourselves essential, if you will. Pizza but, is essential. Yeah. Amen, brother. Yeah. You need to eat, right? Yeah, absolutely. But let's get two of you guys in the kitchen. Let's see what y'all can do. How's that sound? I'm, I'm let's do it. All right, there's our doba. I don't know if y'all want to mess with it a little bit yeah. just to get a good feel right. of the doba, how thick it is and how heavy it is. That is weighty. <laughs> All right, this is uh, this is my this is my fat boy right here. <laughs> this is what gets me through the day. It's a lot to work with. Go ahead, y'all give it a try. Just, uh, just give it a nice little dip in the pool. A dip in the push. Come on, man, what are you doing? Look, look, look. It's like this. Oh, you do it like that? Stretch it out. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what is that? Okay. There you go. So weak. <laughs> To cook a pizza this size, Brian's father had to design a custom tray so big it came in two halves. It's like doing a duvet cover. <laughs> right about there is when I open it up. Now what you want to do is just grab like a good like handful and then just stretch it to the edge. I'll let y'all do this. This is a docker. What does this do? It helps get the air out of the out of the dough. This is our big old sauce buckets right here. I want to make sure the spoons are nice and full. What's your sauce recipe? Can't tell you that, bro. Come on now. <laughs> Security! Yeah, let's, leave, let's get him out of here. Can I do a half a topping and he does a half? Sure. And then you can judge your favorite. Yeah. Get a little bit of help over there. Mike's finishing off the pizza with a little bit more breadcrumb. So this is just going to help find a nice crisp topping. Yeah. 
it's going to be in the oven for eight minutes. We've got to go meet it around the other side so we can start to pull it out. <laughs> Well, we've got to be here to take it out with welding gloves because it's going to be so hot. You've got Great. such a bad docker. Look at the size of that. Uh, that's texture. <laughs> that's what comes out of your mouth, hot air. <laughs> Sore loser. In terms of flavour, though, I think Mike's is going to take the wheel because it's got more of that fatty meat on it, whereas Jade's going to have the crunch of pepper. We all have our favourite. As they brought it in, the entire restaurant just went silent. Brian, Enrique, it's time to try some of the pizza. Pick who you thought did the best in the kitchen. Well, we actually, we have already discussed it. Oh, and it was that easy. Honestly, you know, he says that Jamie was on his team and you're on my team. Right. So, I, I, I'm just saying, because I have to pay all the bills here. So uh, my team wins by default, <laughs> but, but in all actuality, we agreed that it was going to be a tie. Yeah. A tie. Oh, that's clever. I was rolling. Oh, I know. yeah, I like that. <laughs> I really like it. The sauce is amazing. Yeah. The dough's got an amazing chew to it. Yeah. You know, there's a there's a danger you look at something like this big, but it's just novelty and it's there's no substance, but it tastes, it tastes fantastic. Good. It's it's not soggy anywhere. No. Guys, thank you so much for having us. Hey, we have had the best time. It's been incredible. After a day of indulgence, the scores were tied, leaving it all to play for going into day two. What do y'all want it, guys? Uh, We'll take it what? here. Take it here. I tell you what, each one of y'all has to hold it, okay? I don't know how you're gonna drive. Here you go. You got yep, it? Got it. Ready? Be careful. <laughs> it was a new morning in San Antonio, and today also another city not too far away. Corpus Christi. With the scores tied at 1-1, everything was still to play for. So Jamie and I headed two hours south to Corpus Christi to cross one giant food item off the list and take on one monster challenge. With its white sandy beaches, bustling streets and consistent wind conditions, it's widely regarded as one of the best cities in North America for windsurfing, sailing and kite surfing. But before we could take on our next challenge, we needed breakfast. And for this, we headed to Chacho's Tacos to try their legendary taco. Tacos, tacos, taco. Tacos. Tacos. What? When's yours coming out? <laughs> right, OK. At 14 inches long and weighing up to four pounds, it's fair to say we would not need lunch. It's fantastic. These tortillas, they're so floury. Egg, bacon, potatoes, carne asada, beans, and cheese. Mate, have you tasted that beef? <laughs> it's brilliant. Carne asada for breakfast. It's time to make a change. Yeah, for once in my life, I'm gonna start eating more beef <laughs> for breakfast. It's said that breakfast tacos originally started in northern Mexico before migrating to Texas, and that the earliest recorded mention of the phrase breakfast tacos was in 1975 about a dish served in San Antonio, containing eggs and other breakfast items. Challenge done. Cha-cha completed. You know how to get it all. Sometimes, do you just say words? <laughs> Back in San Antonio, Ben and Barry were on the hunt for a big breakfast treat, unique to the area. This is what I'm going for, Ben. You're wimping out. Massive concha. Look at the size of it. So concha literally meaning shell, and it is a sweetened bread that has that shell-like um, decorative topping. Flour, butter and sugar. A little bit of pink in there, usually flavoured with vanilla or chocolate. Um, did you bring a bread knife? 
I did not, but I did bring you to the San Jose Mission. That's not useful. And as part of this space, there is a church where better to break bread with friends. Ah, I see. There we go. I see what you did. Known as the Queen of Missions, San Jose was built in 1720 and is the largest of its kind. 200 years later, in 1930, the church was renovated back to its former glory and still stands as a popular attraction today. For something so big, it is really light. Look at that. Ooh. So it's a, it's a brioche loaf, isn't it? It's a slightly sweetened and enriched bread, yeah, so flour, butter, sugar. Classic Mexican bakery, but as we know, everything's bigger in Texas, including this. That was lovely, soft, pillowy bread. I could use it as a pillow tonight. <laughs> as an extremely technical sport that requires strength, dedication and skill, kite surfing usually takes years to master. We only had two hours to learn the ropes, but we love a challenge, right? Today, we're having a crash course in kiteboarding from Nathan. Emphasis on the word crash. <laughs> it's a bit like wearing a nappy, if I'm honest, Tom. I feel like we've been thrown in the deep end. Oh! It's very shallow, so it's even more embarrassing. So, so you want quite well. a big, big movement. Yeah. Dive, right hand. Yeah. That's good. All right. And then straighten it out to where it kind of slows it down. Yeah, perfect. It's the most technical kite flying that I've ever done. <laughs> I'm excited to give this a go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get up or not. He's up, he's up, he's up, and he's down. <laughs> <laughs> go, 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 go! Right. <laughs> <laughs> that I got the most air time, which was one second. Jay covered the most water time with his bum. If I had to pick a winner, it would be Mike, just because the kite control, not backstalling the kite. But you can't really, <laughs> no, can't really, right. there's no winner in that. <laughs> so I just edged the kite surfing challenge, pushing team Mike and Ben into the lead at 2-1. We actually showed glimmers of talent, no. but not enough. No, we showed glimmers of understanding. Yeah, but no, now no, we he need said to practice. we were good at holding it. He said we were good at holding it, he generally what, did. We were good at flying a kite? Yeah. Like we've right. been doing since we were five. We're done. <laughs> Next up we've got Santa Diablo and we have some delicious cocktails. Margaritas are on the list. La Margarita and a ginger mezcal with a blue magic tea. Cheers. Cheers. And food wise, so much more to tick off our list. We've got tostada with tuna. We've got this one, which is a queso topped with the esquites or elotes. And we've got chicharron on an avocado puree. Corn tortillas, flour tortillas. It's going to be epic. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you got more of your nose in your mouth. It's got the crispy mm. skin as well. All the colours, all the textures. This is amazing food. Outstanding. Everyone in Texas said we had to visit a Bucky's. What is this place? A Texas institution. This is one of the largest gas station and convenience stores in the world. No! How many pumps do you reckon there are? Wait, what? I'll put you out of your misery, 120. 120 pumps? Bigger than my head. This is crazy. It's quite big. This is unreal. <laughs> it's bad, isn't it? How many car parking spaces? I mean, you managed to find one pretty easy. 150. 1,000. So yes, bigger than most villages. Hiya, Becky, can we get a photo, please? They're known for having really clean toilets, apparently. How many toilets do you reckon they have? 50. 83! <laughs> we are still getting lunch now. Once you've you finished that off. Once this just be my sausage snack. <laughs> Hi, 
San Antonio is home to one of the original chicken and pickle locations. With pickleball being America's fastest growing sport and courts popping up all over the US, chicken and pickle combine this with great southern food and a fantastic evening hangout spot for San Antonio locals. Hang on a sec. I've got a message. Oh, here we go. Welcome to your final San Antonio challenge. In your teams, you will be tested on the San Antonio knowledge you've acquired over the past 48 hours. Yes, I've got him! I've been swatting up. Yeah. You've got me. I've got Barry! Come on! <laughs> Question number one. How many tacos are consumed every year in the USA? Is it oh, one, 4.5 billion, two, 3.4 billion, or C, 140 million? Based on the fact that a population of four have eaten 12 in the last uh, 24 hours. Oh, stop Just it! Multiply that up. Three, two, one, reveal. 4.5. 3.4. 4. 4.5. Yes! Excellent. I mean, it's simple maths, really. Question number two. Yeah. Big Lou's Pizza produced one of the largest pizzas in America. But when was the restaurant opened? 1990, 2000, or 1995. Down with the kids. Yeah, ready. Yeah, ready. Three, two, one. Reveal. Year 2000. Yeah. Yeah, we've gone year 2000. Year 2000. Yeah! yeah! We've Doesn't got this. Right. Both teams have had manganada. Yes. What are four main ingredients? <laughs> Chamoy. Chamoy. Right, reveal. In three, two, one, go. Mango, chamoy, tamarind, and then sugar. Mango, chili, chamoy, lime. Oh, it was the fruit roller. Which meant Ben and I took victory in the quiz meaning the final scores at the end of our time in San Antonio are three points to Team Ben and Mike and one to Team Barry and Jamie. Yep. We win San we Antonio! It. We won it! The Spanish had it, then the Mexicans had it, then the Oscar... Oh. Now we've got it! <laughs> Just a history lesson. San Antonio, what do we think? What a city! What a city! It's warm, it. but the food scene is hot. <laughs> in all meanings, Cheers. Cheers, boys. Cheers.